Hi, I'm Lorraine Lilly from Let's Start Design and I wanted to share with you a little bit of code that I'm doing um, on a website in development and it's a rollover effect and I just wanted to show you the code. So here we go. So the effect will be that when I bring my mouse over the picture here, I get a different rollover effect. And um, this is made up of two images um, laid on top of each other. So here I have one image and then the second image with the text on. And I'm gonna lay them on top of each other. Uh, one is hidden, and then when the mouse comes over, this one gets revealed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we're gonna go back to the editor. We are going to open up our tools. If you haven't been to developer tools, you go to tools and turn on the developer tools here. And so we have our two images, and I'm going to lay this one down here first. And this is image 16, and this one is image 15. And you can see here how they're tagged in the corner. And as you click on each one, um, the properties panel here on the right um, will tell you when you create what they call an event handler. So the event that I want to happen is that when we mouse in on image 16 here, that image 15 will show. So what I did was created, I clicked here, let's take this away so I can show you. So on mouse in, I'm going to add an event and they have called it image 16 on mouse in underscore one. And I'm gonna hit return and it puts it down to the bottom here in the uh, program code. I'm going to move it up a bit. Let me just get rid of this one. I'm going to highlight it and just move it up the page a bit so it sits under the other one. And so what it's basically saying here, if I can zoom in a little bit, um, that I've created this image hand this image handler here on and it's creating an event now I don't need this word event I can delete that but just keep the brackets there and then get rid of this I, think I lost one of my there you go. Um, so we're going to click on underline and you can see above where I've done this already so we're going to put in a dollar sign and a W and then you open up the brackets, you're going to put in double quotes, hashtag, and the name of the image that we want to show. So um, the image we want to show is image 15. So I'm going to type in image 15. And then I am going to put in the instruction. So you put all dot, show, open brackets semicolon and this is kind of the standard code so that's the instruction for what happens on image 16 then we want to add another event handler for image 15 but when we mouse out so that it will disappear so for image 15 um, I want it to be hidden on load and for some reason if you just click hidden on load, it won't uh, hide it. So click collapsed on load and then remove it again. So it just says hidden on load and you can see it gets faded out. So we're going to put it on top of the other picture. So it fits exactly. And I'm going to do a mouse out event so that when we scroll out, it will disappear. So we're going to hit, so I've added that, the plus sign, I hit enter, it enters my code down here at the bottom, I'm just going to cut and remove it and put it up at the top. So we are, we can get rid of this event, and this is where we're going to put our code, and same thing, dollar sign W, open brackets, double quotes, 
hashtag the name of the image. So the image is 15. And I then want it to, when we mouse out, I want it to hide. So we're going to say hide brackets semicolon. And now if I try you doing this, it may not work because I haven't moved the top image to the back. So let's give it a try and you can see what I'm talking about. So here when I scroll over the twos, it works perfectly. When I scroll over the threes, it's not working yet. So I need to go back to the editor and click on my uh, image, right click, arrange, center back. And then you will see that the grayed out image is now sitting on top. So when we preview, when we scroll over, it now works. Hope you found that little bit of code useful and um, I think I'm going to be using it plenty now that I've discovered how to use it. Thanks for watching.